everyone welcome back to the makeup box this is your girl Therese and I am here to give you this good good like listen look look at it like I know you are here for it so I was inspired by this look I created on myself last week Saturday I had a wedding to attend and listen I had to recreate that look with a little twist of course I wanted to make it more affordable so everything or almost everything that I'm gonna be using in this tutorial will be at least um, $20 and under so if you want to see how I created this look then girl you know what to do let's go keep watching so don't forget to like comment and if you haven't subscribed as yet what are you waiting for hit that subscription button and also the notification bell so you can always be alerted when I would upload new content let's go okay girl so here I'm just taking my Vaseline lip pomade and I'm just rubbing it all over my lips because we don't want new crusty lips on the channel no we don't and then next I'm jumping into my Morphe Dare to create 39a palette this palette is amazing especially for the transitional colors if you are um, familiar with it you will see that it has like a large array of these big huge pans that you can use as transition colors for your eyes so I'm just dipping into the orange and the brown shades as you know if you're familiar with it again as you know it comes with a slip with the names on it and really and truly i don't have the time to be going back and forth calling up the names but yeah i'm using those orange and brown tones to build up the shadow and then next you're gonna see me jump into a dark navy blue color now heads up for that because i got a lot of fallout from the shade and also the color went on very patchy like the first two transition colors like they blended out very smoothly and they worked really well with each other but this one like this was really patchy I, 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 I did not like that and a lot of fallout like you're gonna see tons of fallout I'm gonna clean up <laughs> a whole lot of fallout but it came out gorgeous I must say so I'm just blending and packing and blending and packing until I am happy with the color payoff. Okay, so here I'm just taking the time to blend out that harsh line because as you can see, it's very harsh right there. So I'm just buffing using small circular motions to just get rid of that harsh line. And then next, I'm going to go in with my concealer to cut the crease. And I'll be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is in the shade of Dark, Dark 42. And I'm using that with my Alamar brush. This is like my favorite brush to cut the crease with. So I'm just taking my time. Yes, it's sped up, but you want to take your time with this to cut the crease. So here I'm just taking the time to blend out any creases before we go in with any more shadows. And then next you're going to see me jump back into the Morphe 39A palette. And I'm taking that same navy color to blend onto the outer V. And I'm dragging that down onto my mobile lid. Almost like I'm winging it out per se. And I'm just doing this until I'm happy with the color buildup. And as you can see guys, the fallout is real yes it is so next I'm gonna be jumping into the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and this gorgeous blue oh my god this is so pretty I'm taking that and I'm just applying that onto my mobile lid and guys I did not have to wet this um, pigment it just went on as smooth as butter and I'm just blending in between those two colors to make sure that everything is nice and seamless Next, I'm going to be jumping back into the Masquerade palette and there is this nice blue green that is so gorgeous. I wanted to try that out but that wasn't as vibrant. So I went back into the 39A palette and there was a color that was just, um, they were similar but it was more vibrant so I went with that. And then next you're going to see me apply some glitter like girls. This would not have turned out as gorgeous as it did if I did not apply the glitter. Like it's pretty by itself but the glitter just made it pop even more so I'm just applying some of my Too Faced eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna pop on some glitter that I purchased off of eBay like 
yeah this did it for me she came out gorgeous like yes yes we did that okay so next you're gonna see me go in with my makeup removal from Mary Kay and I'm just applying some of that onto a makeup cotton wipe and listen the fallout though like you guys can see it for yourselves like I did not want to um, delete this footage right here I wanted you to see that the fallout was crazy like the color payoff from the shadows were great but the fallout was just bananas yeah, so don't even fool yourself to um, moisturize and put on your foundation. Listen, do that afterwards. So here I'm just taking my Nivea cream and I'm just applying that all over my face. You guys know I love this primer. I've been using it for almost a year now. It doesn't interrupt my foundation, nothing like that. I just love it because it's nice and smooth and it's not too heavy on my skin. So here I'm going in with my blurring primer from Cover Effects, and no, I do not have an affordable primer, hence why I am using this, but I'm just using this to, you know, minimize my pores and fine lines. So next, I'm jumping in with a brand new foundation, and this is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation, and girl, listen, this foundation is so gorgeous, like, and pigmented. As you can see, I did not color correct. I didn't need to color correct because it's full coverage it's matte and I love me a full coverage foundation and peep this beauty sponge that I'm using right now it's not a beauty blender no it's not I purchased this a few weeks ago off of the shop miss a website like listen this sponge is amazing I mean like I was super impressed I was like beauty blender where and only for a dollar fifty five like listen I even went back to repurchase and they were sold out it's a good thing that I picked up four at one time so that I can have a backup <laughs> but here I'm going in with my ColourPop no filter concealer and I'm using the shades dark 46 and dark 42 to conceal and highlight and anybody love the wand on these concealers like listen I love how flexible the wands are on these ColourPop concealers like they are super maneuverable that is not a word I don't think that's a word super maneuverable really anyhow I just love the wand on the ColourPop concealers <laughs> so here I'm just taking the time to blend out the concealer from under my eyes you know the t-zone area yeah I'm just impressed with this beauty sponge like beauty blender wear <laughs> so we're just blending for our lives girl don't forget blend 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 blending is key So next, I'll be taking my Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick in the shade Suede Mocha for a nice contour to bring back some color into the face. That is all blended out. I set my foundation off camera using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Deep 30. And now I'm setting all of that with my Mario Badescu, getting some H2O. And now I'm going in with some of my blush from e.l.f and I'm popping that onto the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm taking my Coastal Scents Sun Tones Bronzer in Light. I did not want to highlight so much. I really wanted something that will make me glow from within and this is super subtle on my skin, so I went in with that and I gave myself a nice little glow. So here I'm just finishing off my eyes and I'm going back in with that navy blue color from the 39A palette and I'm just using this Morphe brush to pop that onto my lower lash line and this is like finishing off the eye look you know we don't want the bottom of the eye to look naked so to bring back some definition I'm just doing that and we're gonna smoke it out some more going back into the 39 palette I think I'm gonna be, gonna be using the shade Evolve out of the 39A to smoke that blue eyeshadow out of it.
So here I'm just going in with my LA Girl Glide pencil and this is in the shade Midnight and I'm just popping this onto my waterline and then next I'm giving myself a little wing using my Holy Grail and that is the NYC liquid liner. I need to switch it up. I have tons of gel, black gel pomades that I'm not using so time to incorporate them and even so I wanted to try the wet and wild liquid liner I want to see how that holds up so time to switch it up girl so as you can see I'm not gonna wing this out I'm just gonna leave that right there and then I'm gonna jump back into the 39A palette and getting that navy blue and I'm just gonna blend those two into each other and yeah I did not want to wing so this is what she did and then next I'm gonna be giving my eyelashes a light coat of mascara so taking the L'Oreal this is the Lash Paradise mascara and I'm just coating my lashes and just prepping them for falsies and the falsies that I'm gonna go in with they're from where are they from I think they're the Christina lashes but yeah I'm just prepping my eyelashes for those so here I'm going in with my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and I'm just taking this and outlining my lips, prepping them for the liquid lipstick of the day, which is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick. Listen girls, I love me a nude lippy. If you do not know that by now, <laughs> I love me a nude lipstick. I really do. And this one is super gorgeous. It's lightweight. It is not crusty the perfect liquid lips again yes Bay is home and he is making me laugh we're having a good time so next I'm gonna go in with my color pop this is the makeup shaler collab and I'm just taking Neat Freak and applying that on top of the Kat Von D bow and arrow liquid lipstick <laughs> So here I'm just making sure that my eyelash glue is nice and tacky and I'm popping those on and we are coming to the end of this tutorial guys. I had so much fun recreating this look. I got so many compliments on this the other day to the wedding and listen, I love blue, like blues and greens. So like one of my favorite colors and it could be repetitious at times so I would want to switch it up here and there but yeah this is the end of the tutorial if you have not subscribed as yet don't forget do not leave without subscribing hit that notification bell so that you can always be alerted whenever I would upload new content and until the next time divas I'm gonna see you soon bye